Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Kay again. Just thought I'd do a quick flip through on another little book that I've been working on. It's a concertina book, so no stitching, thank goodness. Um, and it's I started it a while ago to try and create something different structurally on every page. Um, and finally I finished it. So the cover's not anything spectacular. It's just water, really heavy duty like water colour paper that had been tea stained just for a change and I ran it through a um, one of those you know those press machines with a embossing folder um, there was a bit of a gap here because I had to repeat it it was a bit wider than the folder itself so I've just sewn on a bit of tea stained lace or um, yeah maybe lace I don't know and a bit on the bottom as well because of the pattern didn't go all the way to the end either so the sizing wasn't created for a specific reason, just because I had a bit of, you know, a strip of, um, this is uh, Canson Mitons, I think it's called. So this is the first fold of the uh, concertina, and I just reverse, uh, cut a slice through here and here, reverse folded the center, and decorated it with a couple of frames that I had found that were already printed so um, and popped in a couple of little girls as imagery and um, decided to make the background like a wall with different frames and that sort of thing on it as a decoration because it was pretty blank otherwise and this has just been um, stenciled I think it's a Tim Holtz stencil looks like crackle um, and just with you know a little makeup brush pushing the ink through. This is the next one and I chose this particular stencil because of the design of the cutout there. I don't know if you can see that one through to the back as well. So there's a um, couple of layers there and all the same sort of thing cut through, reverse folded this side and this side twice. So that's that one. Didn't put any embellishments or decorations on it because realistically I didn't know what to put there but other than the stencil. This is the next page. Uh, just suspended some circles inside other circle cutouts with thread and again uh, stenciled the background just with the um, same technique as earlier. And so that was, um, the, this was a structure that I wanted to incorporate. This one was also a structure, this one not so much because it's still flat um, and I was going to back it but then I thought well what's the point of stitching it, suspending it in a, in these, inside the circle if I'm just going to back it anyway. Okay this one here also structural, it's really just a, um, a v-fold that has been, you know, reverse, reversed here and here to create a bit of um, uh, interest. And again, sort of triangular. So I did did a triangular, uh, a triangular style of stenciling in the back, just to incorporate that there. Now this, the last one here, is also the sim a similar pop out to the one at the front. Of the book, so there's the uh, the structure of that, and I just attached some little cut out colourful butterflies, and stenciled some vines and leaves on the background of that as well. And the back is just plain because really, no one really looks at the back, and just my stamp here. So there's that little. Uh, something a bit different to what I usually do but it's been something like I said it was a structural thing just wanted to have a play with something a bit different so there you go I hope you like it I have to figure out a way to make these butterflies pop a bit more they get a bit squashed when it's folded so there's no closure on the book but I was thinking I might just tie it with a bit of um, seam binding once I can find that so there you go. That's what I've been working on lately. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.